Born to be a businessman. Well, some say there's an entrepreneurial gene that you either have or you don't. So ahead of Father's Day weekend, Kate Rogers talked to three generations of entrepreneurs from the same family about three very different businesses that they started. I don't know. Maybe that it was, was in it. my blood. 91-year-old Victor Levy is talking about running his own business. And with his family's track record, he may be onto something about entrepreneurial DNA. Both his son Paul and grandson Eric went on to launch their own companies following in his footsteps. In 1956, Victor and his brother Bernard launched counterparts, making women's skirts and eventually pants to keep up with the changing times. It grew into a $100 million business and were selling across the country in major retailers like Macy's. We had the best pants in the city. Okay. Oh. We had buyers crying when they couldn't get delivery. Must That's be some good pants, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, Paul, did you grow up watching your father as an entrepreneur and, and have any takeaways from that? My dad put me to work right away and actually wanted me to see what it was like uh, to actually, you know, earn a paycheck, be your own boss, mm -hmm. uh, but learn from the bottom up. From there, Paul went on to open his own company, Laser Park, a 12,000 square foot gaming facility in Times Square in the 1990s. For a decade, they hosted birthday parties and laser tag games in their arena, drawing celebrities from Michael J. Fox to Brad Pitt. We were voted the number one place in New York City uh, for children's birthday parties in our first year of business. Victor's company, Counterparts, eventually folded in 1990 due to increased competition overseas, and laser tag closed after a 10-year run because of a shift to online gaming. But the Levy entrepreneurial streak continues with grandson Eric, who's 28, now taking a crack at being his own boss. He launched his startup, Your Neighborhood, in 2012. It's a Yelp-style platform that helps provide real estate data for New York City and the five boroughs. Do you think it's in your genes? You have some type of entrepreneurship bug? Sure, well, based on my father and grandfather having their own businesses, I know I wanted to do it for myself at some point. I thought that based on, I guess, the family track record, I'd have a good chance of doing it and being able to be successful at it, too. Victor, what do you think about your son and now your grandson, you know, following in your footsteps? Nice being on your own. He's on his own, and what he's doing is even like Buck Rogers, as far as I'm concerned. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kate Rogers.